Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for showing up today. Um, this is my first Google Hangouts, so hopefully it all goes well and everything is good. So today we are going to talk about how to grow your church online, even if you have a small, small budget. Now, this is a really uh, good topic for my heart because I worked with a church before and I understood some of the challenges um, that churches face. And I thought this would be one of the areas that I can help people grow the most. So who is this webinar for? This webinar is for anyone who is on a mission to grow their church and share the Lord's word with as many people as possible. If that's you, you're in the right place because we're gonna. I'm gonna give you some tips that are gonna help you ease your marketing and help you attract more members. Now in the next 30 minutes or however many minutes we have together, I'm gonna show you how to attract more people even if they're not actively looking for a church right now. I'm gonna show you how to get in front of their face and, and show them that you exist, that your church exists. Even if they just pass, they've been passing by your church or reading your signs or seeing some of your marketing, I'm gonna show you how to improve it so that you can get attract more members easily into your church. I'm gonna show you how to stay top of mind and people in your local area. So people who are already in other churches and maybe if something happens, they'll think of your church first if they're thinking about changing of doing anything else so your church would be the one that stands out for them and lastly i'm going to show you how to build your brand as a pastor let me just make sure that yeah i think this is let me just check one thing Okay, cool. So it is working. Okay, just want to make sure it's working. I don't want to do all the talking and have uh, not be working. Okay, so this, this is going to help you build your brand as a pastor. So maybe, you know, you're a really awesome pastor, but not many people know about your church. And you know, they say 90% of people choose their church based on the pastor. And if you're the best kept secret in your city and local area, that's a great disservice. So I'm going to show you how to attract more of those people and get your build your own brand as a pastor so that you can be the beacon that attracts people to your church. So let me just preface this with, I see I'm only looking at the marketing aspect of the church. So I'm separating out all that other really awesome, amazing stuff and just focusing on the marketing and almost looking at it like a business. Now I know it's not a business, but I want to just separate it so we can keep it to um, keep those two things separate because you know rent has to be paid, workers have to be paid, all of those very tangible things have to be paid. So I'm only gonna be looking at marketing of the church. So does this sound like you? You ask members to invite others, but then your membership count still stays the same, stays stagnant. Or you post videos on YouTube because that's what people say you should do, but then your videos aren't getting many views. And that's kind of you know frustrating because you taught a really amazing sermon that day. People need to hear it. Or you have a church website, but it's not bringing, you're not sure if it's bringing in new members. So it, it seems more of a, a wasted effort. Or maybe you mailed out postcards, but you didn't get the response that you wanted. Well, if this sounds like you, then I'm going to show you how to mm, fix these things and turn it around so that you can actually see some results from your marketing and build your brand and, and really become known in your church and not let those really awesome sermons go to waste. Maybe you feel like technology is in the way and it's just, it's, it's arduous thing and it's actually the enemy. Well, I'm going to show you how to turn technology and make it this really awesome thing that works for you without you doing much work. And turn it into an asset because some of the thing is those things that these problems that happen are actually symptoms of the real problem and the real problem is something i like to call the shift 
And I'll explain to you what that is in a second. But once you make this simple shift, you will be able to attract more of your ideal members with ease. You'll know exactly where to find them, what to say, how to get them to come into your doors and stay in front of them so that they you are always on their mind. So the way that I discovered this shift is I, I am, I'm a, I used to work at Pfizer and I was a Fortune, five, a Fortune 500 sales rep for a lot of years. And, and I started working with small um, entrepreneurs the last five years. And one of the things I noticed is their approach to marketing really was affected. And they, if they made this simple shift, things started to change for them. And so I'm going to share with you this simple shift that I shared with them. And hopefully it will help your church increase your membership. So here's the real problem. I don't know if you've ever seen this game. It's called four picks one word. It's very addictive. If you've never played it, don't, don't even try. It's very addictive. But the premise of the game is they'll show you four pictures. And your goal is to figure out what all four of these pictures have in common. Now, if you look at these four pictures, what are you thinking they have in common? Um, it, I think this is one of the earlier levels, so it's pretty easy, but some of the harder ones get hard. But in this picture, the one thing they all have in common is rage. That was the answer. But that's not why I picked this picture. This picture I thought represented a lot of different people that maybe you also have in your congregation. Let me just check and make sure there's... Okay, perfect. Awesome. Just making sure you guys don't have any questions. Okay, so in this in this picture, there's different representations of people, pretty much how it is in your congregation. So we have the mad mom, the mad man, the mad senior. She's not really senior, but I couldn't figure out what she was. So I just put senior. Um, and the mad youth. Now, do you think one message would speak to all of these people? Probably no. The message that will resonate the most with the mom is probably not will resonate with the man. And that is one of the benefits of marketing your church online. The simple fact that you can speak to all of these different people using words that resonate with them. The problem with most churches is they use one singular message for, to speak to all of these different people. And it doesn't work. It's too, it's, it, if you speak to too many, it, if you speak the message of many, you speak to none. Now with, I know with your congregation, you're dealing with lots of different people. And so you have to tailor your messages to speak to all of those different people inside your church. But online, people are individuals doing their individual things and you need to speak to them. So the message that would resonate with the mad mom, speak to her, create a message that speaks to only her so that when she sees that message, she's thinking, oh my God, they get me. They really get me. Or the message that will resonate with the mad man, tailor your message to only speak to him or the mad senior, or the mad youth or the happy youth or whatever it is. You need to tailor your messages online so that when you go seek them out, and this is a funny thing about people, as you know, um, in your congregation, even though the problems are kind of different, they're kind of similar, What, right? So if you speak to the problems of all the moms, you'll attract a lot of moms in your church. And they all, you know, if you have this common problem, they will have the common common problem together as single moms or as moms. So that's one of the things you want to do is tailor your message to one audience. Wow, this talk is going way faster than I thought, so yay. Okay, so once you tailor your message and you get that out, what you wanna do is now you have to go find those people online. And here's where my secret weapon comes in. This is going to help you go out and be able to find those individuals, if you target single moms, you're going to be able to know where to go find them in your local area. 
and speak to them and tailor your message to them, to them so that they are resonating with your message and will come and, and bond and feel the magic in your church. So the secret weapon is these image ads or banner or not yet yeah, image ads or display ads. So basically what it is, is you can put your church ads on a multitude of sites around the web that your ideal church member visits. So for example, and this is in the local area. So let's say you're targeting moms. Well, you can, if they visit New York Times, you can put an ad on the New York Times that shows your church, or it can be LinkedIn or YouTube. And there's a multitude of other websites where you can show your church message. Can you see how powerful that is? You're at church ad, you're a little church and you're a small little town or wherever you are being shown on the New York Times or any of these big websites where your people are. That's the thing, They, you can go to where they are. Yes, they're on Facebook and actually you can be on Facebook, but you can also follow them around the web and keep your church brand and message in front of them excuse me, while they search online. That is pretty powerful because no matter where they go online, they'll see your church ad. And it's something that Robert Caldini calls association. He says in his book, it's such a good book, but he says um, people will associate things and innocent association with things will influence the way they think about you. So if, they ha if they're on a website that they like and then they see your ad, it's possible that they can develop positive feelings about your church as well. That's pretty amazing because what happens is even if they don't click on your ad, they still will get the subliminal, it goes into the subliminal where they're saying, oh, okay, I see that church. And then they go to another website and they're like, oh, there's that church again. Now imagine if you couple that with your existing marketing, whatever you have out there, if it's a church sign or if it's postcards that you sent out, whatever it is, it's rejogging their memory like, oh yeah, I remember that pastor. Oh yeah, I remember that church. That is some powerful stuff. And so that is what I'm offering you today, a chance for you to get your church ad out there on these multitude of websites so that you can start building up your church brand and building up the, your, your name and your local community. These are for local people, not national, but in your backyard so that you can really influence the chance that people will show up and become members of your church. So the old way is you only depended on your own efforts and it wasn't really targeted. The new way is you can supercharge your efforts now and you can go be wherever your person is online. There's a multitude of websites you can advertise your local church to local people. And so that is my offer for you today as I get hoarse. Okay, so you can target your marketing to be wherever your ideal client is. I'm sorry, client, sorry. Wherever your ideal member is of your church. And that's what I'm offering you today. So today, I this is going to be hands off, but so you don't have to do anything. So all you know is that your ad is going to appear on these these different websites, not saying exactly these websites, it depends on what inventory is available, but your church will appear in these different locations that I will arrange. Now, all you have to do is send me some pictures. I will create the ads for you. I will create the landing pages for you. A landing page is pretty much when they click, it will give them all the information they need about your church. It could be a video, it could be a welcome message from the pastor. It could be anything that's going to be a little bit different than just going to your church website, which has too much information. And if we're targeting specific messages, when we give them a page to land on, we want it to be very precise and speak to them directly. So 
if we do all of these things, then um, you, you should um, see an, an increase in your brand and, and your brand awareness in your local area. So all you have to do is send me the images. I'll create the ads. I'll create the landing pages. And I'll help you figure out which members we should go out after immediately so that you can start building up your church with more of the members that you, not you like, but that, that you want to attract more of. And I will do everything for you. And that usually costs $2.99. But if you sign up on the, within this, the next 48 hours, it would only be $99. So I will do everything for you. Just send me the church images. I will, at the end of the month, I'll send you a list of all the websites that your ad appear in your local area for those local members in your area. All right, so I'm gonna see if I have any questions. I typically tend to speak way too loud, I mean, too fast, so hopefully that wasn't the case. So let's see. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, oh, okay, good. Okay, so I think it's not showing, so no questions. Okay, cool, it's my first one, so. I don't think I did everything proper. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. All right. So that is how you build your brand. Um Oh, sorry, it's the first one. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to recap. So this is how you grow your church online, even if you have a small budget. You can start showing your church ad around the web as people in your local areas just do their normal web surfing. You can show your ad to those people, and it's very affordable. So that is the core. You figure out who you want to attract more of, and then you go to where they are. This is one of the most effective ways to market your church. Okay, thank you so much. And this is my first Google Hangouts. I hope you learned a lot, and I will see you for the next webinar. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.